What's up, people? It's KR, it's KR0 86 now. That's what we're going to call ourselves. But, uh, yeah, so I was on Facebook and I was going through, um, you know, my news feed and I ran into a post uh, from somebody in a group I follow on Facebook called the Nostalgic 90s. And it's basically a picture of. Um, Rugrats, Hey Arnold, Rocket Power, and Doug, and it says, one gotta go. Okay? So, of course, I posted, I, I posted the comment saying that, hey, I love them all, but Rocket Power is the only one I got, that got to go. And then a friend of mine, um, well, responds to my comment and says, rewatch Doug, then answer. And I'm like, uh... Why do I need to rewatch Doug and then answer? And I, you know, I responded to her. I was like, hey, look, Doug was my shit growing up. It's the show that inspired me to uh, draw. I, I kind of want to be a comic book artist because of that show. Even though I didn't actually, uh, I haven't become a comic book artist. I'm almost in my forties and obviously I'm not a comic book artist yet. Or I'm not making comic book sadly but um no i said that show inspired me to uh draw and even motivated me to go to uh scad savannah college of art and design and i will never say it's gotta go in fact heck i think like doug on occasion like literally i really do like i bring him up myself in like superhero fashion of my own particular superheroes that i've come up with for my comic books, like Dragon Hybrid Zero, or or Red Warrior, CJ, or, you know, all that stuff, or uh, Jet, the Wild Warrior. Basically, a whole bunch of things that I go through, I just think up in my head and all that stuff. It was a very motivational cartoon for me. But her comment made me go down a deeper dive. Was, was Doug racist? Like, I had to look up on Google, Doug TV show controversy. And it says, uh, the first thing that popped up was an IMD post uh, saying, was Doug racist? And it led me to this article uh, from the Huffington Post, um, made by, uh, who, made, it, it led to this article, um, uh, on the Huffington Post, I don't know who it was submitted by, I'm looking for the, uh, person who submitted it by, but it doesn't show, sadly, which is very disconcerting, but on it, it's basically like, um, this is basically referencing another post, uh, another uh, article um, on how um, basically it was talking, it, they were basically reasoning the fact that out of all the characters on Doug, all the characters on Doug have multiple different colors, like Roger Klotz being green, um, his best friend Skeeter being blue, <laughs> um, and so on and so forth. Heck, um, one of the characters is purple. I forget what her name is for the life of me right now, but uh, it, it, it was this whole like huge thing, right? Uh, I was like, how is Doug, how is Doug racist? And why are we so focused on Doug being white, uh, being the white main character when everybody else is multicolored. And I, I looked on the Jezebel um, article, in the Jezebel, to the Jezebel article, um, an article by Callie Buseman. And this was made May 30th, 2013. Wish I could figure out what this girl looks like. But anyways, but in this article, the Jezebel article, why was Doug from Doug White when everyone else is multicolored? Uh, in this article, it basically states, oh yeah, because the internet was created for the sole purpose of indulging in 90s nostalgia, I would like to take the 
basically, she asked the question, why was Doug Funny's family white looking when everyone else populating the fictional world was green, purple, or orange, except for that one guy? Um, and it was like, uh, and she also said something along, this is the first paragraph. Uh, she says, the universe of the show hovers at the edge of being the most bully infested post-racial society of all time. And this is like, nah, fuck it. Let's just have white protagonists. And, uh, the executive, well, they go on to reference slime and or history of Nickelodeon's golden age. Uh, which also came out in September uh, 2013. That's weird. How can an article from May 30th, 2013 have a... Talk about (laughs) something that came out in September the 13th. That makes no sense to me. Uh, But... Uh, the decision to have every character appear as a uh, veritable rainbow, as a variable rainbow of unnatural skin tones, was indeed racially motivated. Okay, and the and according to executive producer Doug Campbell's Campbell, look, we're not black people, we're not Mexican, but we want the cartoon to speak to all groups. How do we get past the barrier of ethnicity? And Jim Jenkins, the show's creator, said. Let's try coloring them all different colors. So a show that seemed to have been like trying to figure out how to like include everybody and made the decision to like give all of their care, like multiple different characters, all different types of colors to kind of make it seem like it involves everyone. They did that, and nobody was uh, any. <laughs> nobody um, was particularly like a certain race, or nobody. F- you never get that feeling of anybody having like some kind of, um, you know, uh, racial issues going on in that show. Like, I you could not find anything. <laughs> I mean, shoot, Doug's best friend was Skeeter, a blue kid, and, you know, that everybody, when you look at the, when you look at society and all that stuff, like, the way, like, we've all kind of, (laughs) uh, consciously kind of thought of it, we all think of Skeeter as, even though he's blue, we think of Skeeter as black kid. Heck, we think of... BB, that's where their name was. BB was a purple girl. We think of BB as probably uh, probably mixed or black as well. I don't know. It's a lot. It's it's a lot. I'm I'm just saying. Like a lot of people kind of made each of these characters into their own way. Heck, Roger Klotz, he is he's basically white trash when you really think about it and then he ends up getting rich uh in the disney version of the of the show in the disney seasons either way regardless it's it's a whole crazy cast of characters and like i i, I can't see why anybody would find like some kind of racial racist undertone in the show it seemed like everybody the people who created the show was trying to like make it so that oh yeah it doesn't really care and since doug's family just so happened to be you know more of the peach colored skin or tan colored skin in his dad's case heck his mom looked pink just because they that family happened to be like the least Mul- uh, at least multiple colors. Now you want, somebody wanted to make a big deal out of that. That makes no sense to me. <sighs> I mean, I'm so confused about this. 
and it really makes me think i mean i'm i'm, I'm gonna have to go on to like a huge a, a, a bigger like uh deep dive of this because i mean like i said it's just me checking this out just before like 30 minutes before i'm about ready to go to sleep before i make this video it's crazy uh so definitely be looking out for that video also i made myself a new channel okay uh it's my gaming chat it's gonna be my gaming channel so from now on anytime i make any videos that have to do with gaming um or any of my playthroughs on the games that i have uh which i do plan to go through persona 3 reload once again on my gaming channel it's gonna be on the gaming channel okay and it's just gonna be called kr0 gaming that's it so definitely check that out but until then um I'm gonna say the words that I never thought I was actually gonna say, but like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> uh, you know, see, uh, you know, if you find if you find some of the stuff that I'm talking about um, worth checking out, and if you uh, and like I said, when I start putting the videos up on my gaming channel, definitely check those out. And if you like art, if you like some JRPGs and some first person shooters, because I'm I just recently got in the Metroid Prime. Definitely check that out as well. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to be playing a whole bunch of different games. Hopefully, I might be able to play some, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Uh, some Master Duel with some friends. Um, with their consent, of course, on my gaming channel as well. Because I might actually start streaming again, finally. Uh, once I get, like my schedules down and all that stuff so um because i still gotta finish final Fantasy 7 rebirth but until next time uh you guys have a great day have a great uh week um hopefully you guys are off for this uh, for the rest of the weekend like i am for the july uh, for independence day weekend uh have a great month have a great year you know, all that jazz. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.